Hey, how are you, Lois? Hey, Judd. How are you? Good, thanks. Good. My name is Matthew Daly. I am the head golf professional at Schenectady Municipal Golf Course. And today we're going to learn uh, some of the characteristics of putting, how to read greens, and the procedure of plumb bobbing. Let's say I was really good this day, <laughs> and I hit it in there about six, seven feet away. All right, so I'm gonna mark the ball. And the first thing that I look for is the terrain of the green elevation changes, so forth. A lot of greens you'll see they're double tiered. Uh, there's some slope to them, whether it's up severely uphill or downhill, side hill, left to right. Uh, that's the first thing I'm looking for. Now when you're putting, most players put an incredible amount of time into thinking about break and how much the ball is going to move. Um, in the PGA, we always like to use the term borrow. How much, how much room do you want to borrow, either left or right? But speed is an integral part of it, because if you're going to hit the ball harder, you have to play less break. And if you're going to hit the ball softer, you have to give it a little bit more. You'll see a lot of players in the PGA Tour when they're from this distance away, they have a speed that is going to hit the back of the cup and drop in the hole. If the ball ends up short of the hole, that means it had 0% chance of going in the hole. So we always want to make sure that we have enough speed to get it to the hole and drop in. Say we're on a putt, we don't know which way it's going to break. The best way to do that is to stand behind it a good 10 feet. We're going to straddle the middle of the ball, keeping the ball in the hole in the same line. Now I'm going to hold the putter up with my thumb and forefinger, and I'm going to close my left eye because my right eye is more dominant, okay? And I'm going to take the shaft and I'm going to cover the golf ball so I can't see it. And what I'm going to see is the hole is going to fall on either the right side or the left side of the shaft. And in this case, it is falling on the inner part of the right side of the shaft. So that tells me the putt's going to break a little bit left to right. So I'm going to set up, and you'll notice there's a little line on the golf ball here. And I'm going to use that to line up to the mark that I think it's going to move. So in this case, I'm going to put it right about on the left edge of the, of the hole. And I'm going to stand behind it, and I'm going to see how accurate I am. Now, I, by looking at this, I see that I moved it a little bit to the left, so I'm going to move and get it set a little bit better. And make sure that when you do this, that your mark is always on the green. We always want to make sure the mark is on the green. If you pick the ball up without the marker there, it is a penalty, okay? So we always want to make sure the marker is there. And then we're going to pick the ball up, or the marker up rather, when we're ready to putt, just like that. And I'm going to set up, and I'm just going to be staring at the mark that I think the ball should go. Rather than looking at the hole, I'm looking at the area that I think the ball should be starting at. and it moved exactly as I thought it would. It, you know, it takes a little practice. 